Hey guys, um, I have here two really incredible Rolex sports watches. Um, I purchased them, you know, well, pretty much brand new with the stickers, as you can see. Um, fantastic. Uh, of course, these are the Rolex GMT Master II, Blue Noir and uh, Sea Dweller 4000. I uh, just want to do a quick uh, review, a comparison. Um, I, I, I won't go into the technical specifications because you know, there's a lot of information out there and I don't want to bore you. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll tell you uh, how these watches make me feel. So maybe which one uh, I prefer. Um, let's start off with the, the more popular choice, the Rolex GMT Master II Blue Noir. Now, these are highly coveted, highly sought after. Um, you know, they are fantastic pieces. Uh, I own the, the previous generation, the 16710. And they definitely um, made an improvement in the bezel, I feel. When you turn it a thousand in at uh, one hour increments, it's just it's so solid. It's almost automatic. Like once you reach a certain point halfway, the bezel just clicks on its own. Or that's what it feels like. Um, the blue is stunning. Right? It changes uh, color. Sort of. You know, it's got a glossy dial, extremely proportional. Um, so the reason why I picked these two models in the modern sport line for Rolex was because I felt the the lug width of the Rolex Submariner was just way too thick. It just looked so chunky. Um, and these were, I guess, the more tame of the. Rolex modern line right now. Beautiful. I mean, you know, when it, it's got the polished center links, it's definitely flashy, right? Um, but it makes me feel, you know, it, it makes me feel. Uh, it brings attention to my wrist, that's for sure. You know, like I. I have arrived, kind of thing. Right? It's, it's subdued, you know. It's not, it's not like super bright colors, but anybody who knows Rolex watches can spot this a mile away. And I, to be honest, I haven't seen many of these. I've seen lots of um, Submariners. I've seen lots of, um, yeah, definitely Submariners. I've only seen this maybe once or twice. I'd say once in the wild, actually. And one more time at the dealership. Uh, a beautiful watch. What should I say? You know, it tells people that hey, you've arrived. You know, and you're and you're kind of, um, I guess, a little special to get these because they don't come up in the dealership very often. You kind of got to jump through a couple hoops um, before they would sell this to you. Uh, so yeah, beautiful watch, highly recommended. Um, now I move on to the Sea Dweller. Right now, this one is, to be honest, is you know the the proportions of it is just right. They really nailed it in this one. You know they've got a matte dial. The lugs are not crazy fat. You know, it's it's proportional. It's really, really beautiful. Um, it's definitely thicker than the GMT, but the lug width is thinner. You, you know, ever so slightly, but it makes a huge difference. This this um, looks more, you know, traditional. Um, with a nice touch of modern. Fantastic.
fantastic. And now with the semi matte dial, you know, it gives it a nice vintage feel, right? This has the perfect blend of vintage and modern, right? Whereas the, the GMT Master 2 is just modern Rolex. This one, I have to say, is like a transitional between uh, the sapphire and uh, ceramic sports watches. I, it is really beautiful. It, it's definitely more unique, you know, um, more discreet too. However, those in the know, I think, would be able to tell a sea dweller from a submariner just from the way it sits on the wrist and its proportions. Um, definitely prefer this way more compared to the Submariner. It sits, it's just so much more. It's fantastic, you know. This could be like your, you know, every, you know if it's just one watch for your one watch kind of guy, I highly recommend this Rolex Sea Dweller. You know, perfect for all occasions. Fantastic. You know, I, I definitely get you know more emotional talking about this one than the GMT Blue Noir. Uh, I don't know why. I guess it just sings to me a little better. You know, it it, it looks like a Submariner, but it's not a Submariner. In fact, I think it's. I hate to use the word better, but it's more, you know, uh, all right, I, I feel it's better than a Submariner, you know, in terms of design, um, aesthetics, proportions, right, uh, okay, it goes deeper, but, you know, you're not really going to go that deep, right. simply stunning. Ah, I don't know, it just comes down to preference, but I feel that these two are the best, um, best modern, modern Rolex that they've come up with. Um, I would lean slightly more to this, um, but both are great, fuck, just get both. <sighs> See if you can, you know, get one first and get the other one, you know. Expensive, they're expensive, but uh, that's life, you know. Good things cost money. Okay, hope this helps. Bye.